Hello YouTube. So in this video, we will uh, uh, try to understand our layout and we will define the frames uh, and we will pack these frames to our window and uh, give the required color and font style etc. So let us begin. Uh, let me just show you the main file. Uh, so just run this main file. So this is the main file. So here you observe that uh, these we have two frames here. The first frame consists of this display that you can see, and the second one uh, consists of all these buttons. So we have two frames, namely display frame and the button frame. So these two frames we will be creating uh, today in this video and uh, let's see how it goes okay so how do you define a tick enter uh, label frame this is how you 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 do it so tick enter dot label frame and you pass the name of your window so our, uh, the name of our main window is root so where do you want this frame exactly so we want this frame in in the window root so that's why uh, we uh, pass uh, the root as a command and see uh, now we have this another frame button frame that will consist of all the buttons that we will be using then we will pack these buttons so what does pack mean uh, Pack means that you are inserting the uh, some elements into your window. So there are two methods to do this. The one is dot pack that we are using here, and the other is dot grid. Both of them works in different ways. When you use dot pack, it just uh, attaches your element into the window the way uh, the space is available to it. And uh, the third thing works like the other method or grid. Uh, it uh, it it is works in a more systematic way. So it works on zero row zero column and that way. So it uses row column way of uh, assigning uh, elements to the window. So that's one way of working. And the other way is using this dot pair. So uh, know that for frames we can just use dot pack. We don't need anything else. But while you're working within a frame, so sh shortly we will be inserting various buttons in the button frame. So while doing that, the one thing you should remember is that if uh, you use one method in one frame, you cannot use another. So if you're using dot grid remember to use the same method in the entire frame if you don't do that you will get errors so just stick to one method in one particular frame so so when, once you have done see uh, in this uh, button frame we have this extra attribute uh, given this background color is equal to black well, just a way of differentiating the two frames so that I can show you that uh, the two frames are different and again uh, this fill equal to both means uh, uh, it takes over the entire place expand equal to true and fill in both the directions so it will be clearly visible to you and uh, now we dis uh, create the display frame so this uh, is what you see when you actually type a button you uh, see the the which button you have typed let me show, show you here just run this file so for example if i type h you can see h so this is what i'm talking about this area this display uh, is nothing but this display tkinter dot entry so 
this entry is uh, nothing uh, but uh, that display frame it is display what you probably call it and then these are the various attributes for it so where display frame in indicates that we want to attach this display into the display frame the width of that display should be 120 then what should be the font about the things which are displayed so for example again let me open this so this has a particular um, font style and font size how, how do you how do you want to express it so remember in one of the videos previously we talked about this these variables so now we use it so the font will be display font that you can see again you can uh, vary these uh, font style as well as this font size so it's your choice you just run your program if you don't like it change it later on you can change it anytime and that's where they are using it as a variable so anytime you change it here and it changes everywhere so for example we will be having a lot of buttons so directly i change the button font and uh, every button's font will be changed with that so that's one of the advantages of uh, using variables and why we use variables now again uh, this is the background uh, and this background is nothing but this the the color that we have defined here so remember this is sort of that sort of blue color and uh, uh, the tool color picker helped us to you uh, to get to this color that, that i have showed you in one of the previous videos so and the border width is the width of the border i'll show you and i just uh, run this file and then we have justify equal to left it's just a justifying alignment you can think of that we have in word uh, left is a keyword and what are keywords uh, sort of keyword you can say so i have i need to import it from here from tick enter import left and i can just keep it like this now what are keywords let me show you in another file new file and what i will call it i guess okay so uh, there are certain keywords that you cannot use for your variable names so that's the main point so for example we have a method def a keyword def that we use to define the method or function you call it so these uh, 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 the keyword def uh, stands for define so we use this to define the function in python another one is for example class class uh, is also a keyword that we use to define a class so for example main class or something like that but uh, we, we won't go into the um, uh, into the ops concepts the object oriented programming i just want to tell you that for example let me just class is uh, define this as try to define it as a uh, float or maybe just integer maybe and if i try to run this i will give it will give errors just a second okay i have the other thing running see syntax errors this these, these will show you errors so whenever you use a class defined keyword as your variable so this will give you error and so you can see that your editor will uh, highlight this as a different color whenever you use a keyword so if i just use classes which is not a keyword you can see the color has changed this this is a valid name for a variable so if i run this now see it run very well no errors no syntax errors and again you cannot use some special characters like this one see it's error you can see uh, it's showing the red line uh, it, it's error or numbers in the beginning 
that will be error you can use it later on uh, there's no problem but you cannot use in the beginning or you can use it here uh, underscore is a special character that you can use but again this is a different meaning so that we will won't go into the depth so this is uh, i want you to talk about uh, the keywords that you need to know let's uh, come to our main thing again so again once we have defined the uh, element we have defined uh, our display screen here using all these attributes now we will pack it. so we will insert this uh, into our window and padx and pad y are just uh, spacing in x and y direction for the entry and you can experiment with these numbers i really encourage you to experiment with these numbers so you can get a better understanding of what's going on so let me just run this so you can see it here the background is black for our frame and this is the this is the screen we don't have buttons so far but uh, we have this border width if x and y padding looks good i guess so in the next video we will go into the detail and we will see uh, how to get a button uh, the various functions that are required and etc let's see i hope you are excited for the further project